Good morning. Today we want to see the book of John chapter 8. John chapter 8 from verse verse 31. From verse 31 to 41, I will read. <coughs> John chapter 8, from verse 31 to 41, I will read. <coughs> to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have not have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now uh, a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham's descendants, yet you yeah, you are ready to kill me because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have sin in the father's presence and you do not you do what you have heard from your father abram is our father they answered if you were abram's children said jesus then you would do the things abram did as it is you are determined to kill me a man a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things, yet you are doing the things you are, your own father does. We are not Ill illegitimate, illeg illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Amen. Today, uh, we can see the uh, argument between uh, Jesus and the religious leaders. So Abraham did the great things, and then uh, uh, God did the great things, Jesus did the great things. Uh, and then Jesus uh, life was the true life. Yeah. And then Jesus' word was the true word of God. Yeah. And then <coughs> Jesus wanted to save the people with this true word of God. Yeah. But then the uh, religious leaders, high priests, and the teachers of the law they were not they were not believing in Jesus. That was the problem. Instead of believing in Jesus, they believed in themselves. Instead of glorifying God, they were glorifying themselves. That is the problem. That was the problem. Jesus said that then, Abraham did not do this one. Uh, Abraham believed in God. Abraham believed in Jesus. But then, the descendants of Abraham, you, the physical descendants, you are not believing in the Son of God. 
Yeah. What is it? <laughs> This is somehow difficult to understand, right? Yeah. Think about the expect uh, uh. Abraham was humble. Uh. Abraham Abraham believed in God. In how the in however situation, Abraham believed in God. Uh, even Abraham welcomed the strangers. And then Abraham could be God through that. Abraham could serve serve God through that. Uh. <coughs> When he was difficult, then. But when God showed him the stars in the sky, uh, your descendants will be like this. <coughs> when God says his word to Abraham, then Abraham, he believed. Uh, Abraham, yeah, he was a humble person. And he was the person of faith. If Jesus could come to this world at the time of Abraham, then Abraham could believe in Jesus. But then you, you, even though you are not, you are the descendant of Abraham physically, but you don't even believe in me. You are not like Abraham. You are not like Abraham. That's what Jesus is meaning. So they have to be, they need to be humble. They need to look at Jesus with a humble heart. And then they could see Jesus clearly, correctly. And the other issue is Jesus' word was the true word, the true word of God. Was not glorifying. Jesus' word was not glorifying Jesus himself, but Jesus' word was from God. He listened from God, and then he was teaching the people with this word of God, true word of God, not glorifying Jesus himself. So Jesus was delivering the true word, the truth, teaching the people with the truth. But then you, uh, you are saying, uh, you are saying the lies. Uh, hypocritical lies. Uh, that is the problem. So please believe in the word of God, believe in the word. Believe in me also. And then you will be free, free from the sins. You will be free from the death with your sins. So here you can see from verse 31 to the Jews who had believed him believed him Jesus said if you hold to my teaching you are really my disciples then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free yeah. you will know the truth and the truth will set you free The word which I was spoke, which I have been speaking to you, was not my own word. It's the word from God, and then the word, the word of God is the true word, the truth. Then the truth will set you free. Uh, 
It's true. When we know the truth, then we can be free in God. We can be free. Uh, suppose that then uh, you are lied. You are in the confusion without the truth. Uh, then many people, you will be suffering because of the lies and deceiving. You are deceived. Suppose that you are deceived or you, even you yourself are deceiving other, pe other people. Then and, uh, the big chaos will be in your life. In the darkness, confusion will be controlling your life. Uh, but when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. The same. That is the power of the truth. Uh, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Yeah. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's why we need to listen to the word. We need to read the Bible. The Bible, the word in the Bible is the truth. It can give us the life. Because it's the true truth. It's talking about, it's teaching us the truth. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Free from the sins. Free from the punishment of God. For our sins. With our sins. Or free from the confusion, darkness of our life. With our sins. Because of our sins. We need to realize this. First, but first, but first, thirty-three. They answered him, "You are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free?" Yeah, because they could not realize what Jesus is talking about. Free from what? <laughs> they were just because they were just thinking about the physical slave, slaveship. That's why they said this way. But verse 34, Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Yeah. Everyone who sins, he can be the slave of sins, darkness, Satan, yeah. being controlled yeah. in the confusion, darkness. Verse 35, now a slave has no uh, now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Yeah. Because I am uh, the son of God. If I set you free, you will be free. You will be free. Jesus had this power. Jesus can set us free from the darkness, from the punishment of God, from the confusion in this world. The truth. With the truth. If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham's descendants. Yeah, I know you are Abraham's descendants. Physically, it's true. You, yet, you are ready to kill me. But you, you, you are trying to kill me. Nonsense. Because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence. And you do what you have heard from your father. Abraham is our father, they answered. Yeah. Still, they are talking from the physical viewpoint. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do, you would, then you would do the things Abraham did. As it is, you are determined to kill me, a man who has, who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Yeah. 
If you are belonging to Abraham, then you need, you need to do what Abraham did. But then, I know that you are determined to kill me. Who? Who are, teach, who are, who are saying the truth? From God. Verse 40. 40. It is, as it is, you are determined to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. Yeah. Abraham did not do such things. Trying to kill the, the people who were the angel, were the people of God who are saying the truth. Abraham did not do these things. But you are doing these things. You are trying to do these things. Even in the world, right? In the corrupted world, what is happening? The people who are corrupted, they are trying to kill the true people. <laughs> they are trying to kill the righteous people, honest people. Jesus was yeah, suffering with, with this with these things. As Jesus was delivering the true word of God, sometimes he was rebuking <coughs> the sinners, the hypocrites. But then instead of humbling themselves, instead of listening to Jesus, repenting their sins, but they hated Jesus. They were trying to kill Jesus. That was the issue at the time of Jesus. Maybe it can be the same. When the people of God, they are trying to say the truth, then the corrupted world, the sinful world, they will try to kill those who are saying the truth. Even now, the corrupted world, the strange world, the strange ideology, they are trying to kill many Christians in the world. They are trying to destroy the Christianity. Who don't worship the idols. Abraham did not do such things. Abraham did not do such things. Verse 41. You are doing the things your own, your own father does. You are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Still, yeah. they were saying from their own viewpoint. But then Jesus was saying that they are not like Abraham, even though they are the descendants of Abraham. Abraham. But they were arrogant. They were not willing to listen to the true word of God by Jesus. So we need to be humble. And then we can listen to God, we can listen to the truth. And then when we can listen to the truth, then the truth will set us free. And then we need to be the true Christians. We should not be remaining as a, what is it, out of the Christians, out of the Jews. We need to be the inner the Jews. We need to be inner the Christians. Romans chapter 2, verse 28 and 29. Romans chapter 2, verse 28 and 29. It says that a man is not a Jew if he is only one outwardly, nor is circumcision merely outward and physical. No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly, and circumcision is circumcision of the heart by the spirit, 
not by the written code. Such a man's praise is not from man, but from God. Yeah. So Apostle Paul was trying to say that about uh, circumcision or baptism. What can be the true baptism? What can be the true circumcision? The who can be the true Jew? Who can be the true believer of God? A man is not a Jew if he is only one outwardly, nor is circumcision merely outward and physical. Yeah. Many people want to be circumcised. Many people want to be baptized, to be the Christian, to be saved. But if we are just remaining with out of the circumcision, out of the baptism, but if our life is still simple, then that baptism, out of the baptism can be meaningless. Hmm? It cannot be effective. Yeah. It can lose the effectiveness. So we need to be circumcised, we need to be baptized. Outwardly and inwardly, together. Verse 29, No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly. Yeah, we need to believe in God from, from with our heart. Not just outwardly, ah, I am, I, I am a Christian. Don't say just that, outwardly. We really need to be the Christian from our heart. Hmm? No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly, and circumcision is circumcision of the heart. We need to be circumcised with our heart, from our heart together. We need to be baptized from our heart together. Huh? So by the Spirit, not by the written code, not physically only, not outwardly only, with the Spirit. From our heart, with, our, with all our heart, we need to believe in God. We need to obey. Because such a man's praise is not from man, but from God. Because God is spirit, God is looking at our heart. Then we need, can be the true Christian. We can be regarded as a true Christian as we are living with faith, with all our heart. Not just the other day. So the problem of the uh, Pharisees at the time of Jesus, that was the problem. They were outwardly, outwardly, they were the great leaders among the Israelites. They were the great, like, uh, religious leaders. Even they were teaching the word of God. But the, the issue is inwardly, or hypocrites. They were the hypocrites, many of them. You know, arrogant. That's the problem. And then maybe many times they were saying the lies. And then even they killed Jesus later. They killed Jesus even. The same for our life of faith. Even though we are living as a Christian, but if our life is full of deceiving lies, what is it? Huh? Hypocrite. Then, yeah, we cannot be saved. Instead of being saved, maybe even we can kill Jesus. We can kill the Christians. We can persecute the Christians for our life of as a sinner, in order. And then we ourselves can be controlled. Huh? Can be, uh, can be controlled by the darkness. The darkness can be controlling our life. The confusions, many uh, strange things can be controlling our life because of our deceiving life, sinful life, hypocritical life. Uh, then we can be the slaves of darkness. We can be the slaves of the money. Sexual immorality. Huh? Then you are you already became the slave. 
As you start to commit sins with those, but when you know the truth, when you really know the truth with all your heart, with your heart from your heart, when you really live in this truth, <coughs> according to the truth, following this word of God, obeying this word of a true word of God, then when you know the truth, the truth will. Set you free. You will be free from this indulgence, addictions, darkness, confusions, with a lot of things. Dark world. You will be from free from this dark world. So as we are meditating this word of God, we want to realize it again that uh, we need to believe in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then we need to obey him. Don't just believe in Jesus out of the, with, our, with your mouth only. We need to really believe in Jesus with all our life, with our actions, with our obedience. Not like the hypocrites. And then we can be in the light. <laughs> we can be even the children of God. We can be the children of Abraham, descendants of Abraham. True spiritual descendants. True spiritual descendants is true descendants. Not the outer descendants, not the physical descendants only. So as we are living, we want to realize that there are how important it is the word of God, the word of Jesus, because it is the true word. Then the truth will set us free from all the bondages in this world. So I hope we can, each one of us can realize this deeply. That as we live believing in Jesus, believing in the word of God, as it is the truth, then we can be really living in this light of God for our life. So we want to end here, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us this time to meditate your word. As Jesus, Jesus came to this world then, Jesus brought the true word of God to this world. Jesus himself lived with this true word of God, and then this true word of God was guiding his life. And then this word of God, Jesus he was teaching many people with this true word of God. So, as he, there are many people who are living in the sins. Even though some people are living as a Christian, but <coughs> out of the Christians can be still in the darkness, in the bondage, in the, as a slave of the sins in this world. But as we come before you, as we really repent from our sins, as we really believe in Jesus, and as we really believe in the word of God as the, as the truth, then as we really start to live, following, obeying this word of God, true word of God, then I hope we can really live the new life in God, in this, in the light of God, so that we can be escaping from the bondage, from the slave lives in this world, by the sins, under the sins, and then we can be really living, enjoying the true life in God, enjoying the spiritual life, eternal life in God, the light, the light of God through our faith. So then the darkness cannot control us anymore, but then the true light can be shining to this world through our life of faith. So please be with us, guide each one of us, so that we don't fall into temptation, but then we can be really living as a light of God for this world. So thank you for all your grace through this time. Then I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you all.